Hey guys, welcome back, welcome back, John Megcycle here, another episode of the Motley Craft server, hope you're doing well. Uh, got a couple of new players over the last week, wanted to do some proper introductions with them. Uh, they both, uh, actually we got three new players. I'm alone on the server now, which gives me a good opportunity to just look around, see what's what, and uh, yeah, I guess do a little catch up. I uh, just did a bit of cleanup in my base. Um, let's go through some of the people that have just joined us. We have It's Me, Arthur's Base. Uh, gonna go to his. He's been doing a lot of the teching up different mod packs. We got holy crap on the sugar. Let's uh, let's turn a little death tome so we can fly a little bit here. That's gonna give us a bit of a better view. Um, so we've got. All right, let's back this up a little bit here. Uh, we got a bunch of machines. I'm not gonna touch anything at all because the last time I went around poking around with a wrench, I accidentally I accidentally took apart some of uh, AK Jag's base on accident so <laughs> okay so we've got some machines some processing a couple of alloy smelters and ender chest pulverizer so there's some sort of mining operation going on here you know what I'm gonna change into just bat form these little hieroglyphs that keep popping around kinda drive me a little crazy oh cool if you change into different morphs with flight you don't lose the flight okay so this is where we started found him a nice location somewhere temperate zone ish a lot of processing going on here not gonna tinker around too much I don't like to go through other people's stuff so we're just gonna kinda take this from a visual perspective here really unless they give me permission to really poke around um, I did get permission from him that we could at least show off his base a bit so let's see let's take this all in from up on the hill and see if we can get a good view of the whole thing okay we've got some expansion going up and down this lake here lots of sugar lots of processing uh, what is this thing charge pad oh wireless charge pad okay very cool and I'm sure this is all the wiring wherever that leads to a uh, little bit of agriculture here looking good so far um, yeah so let's just move up a little bit here uh, please do not hold the wrench around the base without a reason you will destroy the look of my base oh yeah okay so that kind of reinforces what I said if you hold the wrench like this I think this is the wrong wrench might be a different wrench but what you can do is you can see through some factorization blocks um, so we're not going to mess around too much with that um, okay we have miscraft we have batania here I just started to get into batania a little bit not too much but it's an interesting mod pack and I wonder if we'll see any more of that in his base oh, oh yeah okay so we have some day blooms I think they're called yeah um, we don't have any mana spreaders uh, to actually disperse the mana into the mana pools but those are full so that's good uh, living wood okay yeah the pure daisy will turn wood into living wood or living rock or living stone something like I said I'm just really trying to get into the sort of a thing oh this is a heck of a smeltery he's got going on all right yeah and then the item or not the item the transfer nodes um, can easily pull items out of it that's a good that's a good idea um, is it full to the brim no uh, but it's got gold or maybe aluminum brass in it maybe electrum I don't ever really look at the actual liquids themselves. Okay, so we have a runic altar, a mana spreader, and some mana pools here. So that's, yeah, some more Batania. Uh, this is sand. This is part of Minecraft. This is not Batania. <laughs> okay. Oh, cripes. Uh, Spectral and Master Rat are going to be far more fluent in speaking this language. This is blood magic, I believe. Yeah, blood magic. And... I think the way Spectral and Master Rat have their setup is this is a bit of a killing field. What is this? Rune of Self Sacrifice, Speed Rune, Rune of Augmented Capacity. I don't. I don't have any idea. I don't have the slightest idea what this stuff does, but it looks really cool. <laughs> anyway, Master Rat and Spectral they have this as a sacrificial pond or a sacrificial area, I guess whatever you'd call it. Uh, mobs spawn below. The mobs die. You get the blood from them and then use the blood to do magics. And this is the blood altar where all the magic happens. I'm sure we're not touching anything. I don't understand it. The whole thing could explode on me. Oh. This is a thom. No, not thomcraft. Factorization golem. Uh, oh, colossal. Colossal mass, colossal arm, colossal leg, colossal blocks. I have no idea what to do with these things. Uh, actually, Joshimus and I were kicking it around a bit. We found one or two of these in the twilight. What you do is you mine these spots, and it wakes them up. Um, that's as far as we've gotten. 
really. I mean, I don't really know what they do. I don't know if you fight them and kill them and you get some gear. I'm not too sure how these all work, but it's kind of weird that he's found a start location with one of these just sitting here. Now, uh, usually how these things work is you get a map, and it points you to this direction to find one of these guys. So, uh, interesting. Definitely going to leave him alone. Uh, what the heck is this? Uh, oh, distilled water. He's got solar distilleries, I'm sure. Yep. Uh, so these things, they just distill, really, water, and it distills it out. So with this sort of an apparatus, it's sucking it out, pushes it all the way up, and just dumps it off right here. Or actually, it looks like retrieval node. That's interesting. I wonder what a retrieval node does. Huh. Consider if we come over here, these are liquid nodes. Or liquid transfer nodes. So these these pull out. Oh, so I guess I know what the retrieval does, is it pulls it in. I hope. I'm guessing that's what it does. Holding distilled water. Yeah, okay. So that pulls it out. So it's a reverse. So instead of having eight transfer nodes here, you just have one up there. That's very economic. That's very good. Okay, what else do we have here? Let's go back in human form because it looks like the size of the house is appropriate. This is very cool use of carpenter blocks. I've never seen carpenter blocks be used so effectively before. This looks really good. Um, some experienced obelisks. I have the same rig at my house. It holds like, I think we're up to several thousand levels. Um, but let's take a peek what's in here. Oh, storage. I like it. Now, I wonder if he has something below that feeds into this stuff. Again, I don't want to go tinkering around with his base or his items or anything. Uh, ender chest, very cool. A couple of barrels, lots of diamond chests. That's interesting. I don't think I've seen so many diamond chests before, or chests being used as storage, but that is a way to hold a bunch of stuff. And being upgraded to full diamonds, nice as well. Holds quite a bit of stuff, very nice. Okay, awesome. So he's got the Thomcraft stuff here with some of the shards. More shards. Basic metals and minerals. Very cool. It's a nice base he's got here. I'd like to go down and see the basement, but I don't think there's a clean way to see the basement. Um, I don't, again, I don't want to really go messing around too much here. I'm just looking for maybe a fake panel or something. Nope, probably not. Okay. Very cool. So let's get out of here. So, little storage shack, experience obelisks, very cool. Another ender chest, uh, harvester. Oh, I didn't know you could use a harvester this way. That's very interesting. I kind of want to see one pop, but I think these things need a level of darkness in order to spawn out. Huh, okay. Well, we're not going to worry too much about that. Um, oh, what do we have here? Oh, very cool. Enchanting area. How do they get the white glistening stuff? That's cool. Enchanter, Enchanter, Ender IO stuff. Another mod I have not touched with. Uh, a fully leveled up enchanting table, so that's cool. What is this stuff? Holy stone, large holy stone bricks chisel too. That looks awesome. Glowstone adds a really nice touch. I'm sure the place lights up at dark, no problem. Okay, anything else really cool visually? to see in the base before we really take off and check out something else. Let's see. Oh. Check out over here. Oh, a twilight portal. Very cool. A uh, whole crap load of ender tank full of lava. I'm sure that's all getting sniped out of somewhere. Works for me. Uh, most likely the nether. Maybe an endothermic pump getting fresh lava. Works for me. Works real nice. Alright, this is a really nice base. So far, so good. And this is one week on the server. I mean, with my timeline, this would have taken me a lot longer to get all this slapped together, but this has been pretty impressive so far. It's really cool seeing some new players on the server. Uh, let's go back to human mode. Uh, let's also reset the time. I like to see the... Okay, that was a delay. Anyhow, I really like to check out and see how the new players are. This is Ashley K's base and Rebel Snow Trooper. These are two players that kind of join forces to really get one big base revved up. Okay, a couple of robots, or turtles, I should say. Uh, some basic storage here. Tinkers. Smeltery. Okay. 
This is an easy way to click on the seared faucet, just a little bit of a redstone signal. I'm sure that's what that's what's going on here. Um, oh, wow, agriculture like crazy. We got barley, wheat, potatoes. Very nice. Um, redstone, no, lava generators. That's a weird place for a lava generator, but all right. Same thing with over there. <laughs> uh, okay, let's take a look at some of this, but holy crap. Huh. That's impressive. Oh. Black Hand, 46 hit points, witchery. Oh! I wonder if he'll actually attack. Let's see here. Um, I'm in someone else's base, so I don't want to just... Oh, I could do a slime. Those deal, like, no damage. Um, yeah, what the heck. No? Okay. I thought he was going to shoot him up. I guess not. It's just slimes. They're not even going to deal any real damage. I definitely wouldn't spawn enemy mobs in someone else's base, but let's at least do due diligence and get this cleaned up, shall we? Hey, get back here. So I'm not too sure what... Oh, you know what? Maybe they don't consider the slimes hostile or something? I don't know. Um, but either way, let's get out of the creative mode before I accidentally break something. Oh, you know what? Before we do that... Let's get rid of that. Let's get rid of that. Very good. Okay. Well, it's nice to meet you, Mr. Blackhand. I hope you have fun staying in the box. What the heck is this? Oh, cool. Another gift from Arthur. Very nice. Um, these players have left nice little gifts in my base, too, and it's nice to receive gifts again. It's actually a nice thing. Okay, so we have a very nice castle here. Uh, iron spikes. I'm very confident these deal damage. Yep, they deal damage. Very cool. Uh, red st is this redstone? Looks like redstone to me. And then obsidian-ish kind of looking. Oh yeah, message I left. <laughs> um, Ashley K left a bunch of snow golems in my base and said, hey, it looks like you could use some company. So I was like, all right. So then I came back here and I said, hey, now I have to figure out how to turn them into snow cones. Um, okay, more chisel. It's amazing how much possibility chisel has really lent to this. Realistically, if I had to create my own mod pack, I'd probably do it with tinkers and chisel, and that might be it. Okay, you're out on lookout, clearly. Lava tanks, very cool. Lava generator. Little ender IO for power and processing. Looks good so far. A slice and splice. Slices heads and splices them into all sorts of useful things. I never heard of that before. Of course, Ender IO is another mod pack I haven't really tapped into, and I really should. There's a lot of good possibilities with this Direwolf 20 pack. A lot of good stuff out there. Okay, they're iron doors. Unless there's a lever or a switch, I can't get in there, so that's fine. Ooh, there's a whole there's a whole deck and everything. Let's go down and see if there's another entrance. Oh, lava fountain, very nice. Chunk loader. Okay, so we're back on the main floor. Uh, let's see what's back here. Okay, here's the out. Uh, yeah, let's go up. Very cool. Clear glass, always nice. Uh, let's go up one more. No, we can't. Okay. Oh, we don't have to. Okay, this lends right out to the actual tower and the wall and all this such. Again, chisel 2, very nice with this. Oak wood scaffold. Yeah, that does look pretty good. Looks like storage crates. Actually, I kind of want to see this from the outside. So let's go bat mode again. That's damn impressive right there. That looks really good. And it blends nicely with the mountainside. It doesn't look like it sticks out or anything at all. Very cool. And then here's the front gate here. I'm sure there's a couple more minions going to fit these spots very nice and act as guards. Yep, and then, of course, iron bars. A little more cobblestone with some chisel. Nice touch. And then the wall. And then this leads right up to a turret. Very nice. Let's go back in megacycle mode. A.K.A. human form. A.K.A. regular. A.K.A. without morph. 
oh, this chisel just, it drives me just awesome, crazy cool with seeing the creativity and how it's used. Yep, another lookout tower. Let's just get this snow out of here. Very cool. Now, when she started, I checked on this base and she had it full of snow golems. So it was kind of cool little defenses just to get something started. Looked really nice. And now that she's starting to fill this and Rebel Snow Trooper is starting to fill this in with some witchery units, it's actually cool to see. I'm still curious how in the heck those things actually work, but, you know, the guy right here, the, oh, guard post, there we go. Can I trade with you? No. No, he's assimilated into the witchery. Uh, berries like crazy, of course. Whole walls of them, jeesh. <laughs> Very cool. All right. Uh, let's get out of all these players' bases. Let's head to my base and... Whoa. Oh, Lava World. Okay, so they just create Lava Worlds. That works out fine. Works for me. So, anyway, let's head back to my base and I'll show you the couple things that have been added. There we go. Okay. So I've had a couple of gifts. Um, this contraption was used to work instead of my inscribers over here. Um, the weird thing about this is one of the players brought up that the inscribers don't actually have any power. If you see on the right of this box here, there's 0% energy, which is, I think, it's just utilize the energy when it's ready. So let's, let's just make something here. Um, sure, let's order up a dozen. I think engineering circuits are the one that, yeah, diamond, perfect. Put that back. Which one is, and oh, here it is, engineering. So even though it doesn't look like it has power, this isn't really a power thing. This is more of a progress bar. So with that being done, this is just going to hammer out until it's done. And in order to power these, at least the way I understand them is, this line is for the import bus. The back is for the actual uh, interface. There we go. And then those don't actually push power to the device. What I use is this quartz little fiber and then this more ME cable, and this actually just transmits power. No signal here, but it makes sure that these devices are fired up and working. So a couple of these, that'll finish the order, no problem, piece of cake. So that's what this was. Um, I think one of the players just needed to get something inscribed, so I always say, if you need something, come to the base, use it, no problem. You know, I have no problem helping out. Uh, what else? Oh. It's me, Arthur, went ahead and dropped off a couple of really nice things. Um, he said that my IC2 bits were way too slow, so he dropped off these things. A crap ton of overclockers, which is awesome. Yeah, that, that'll really help these machines. And actually, uh, let's just put... How does this work? Can I just stack them? Huh, decrease process time to 24%, increase power to 6... Holy crap. Okay, let's start with level ones. Deep, deep. Let's put two in there. That works for me. That's a good start. I wanted to at least get somewhere with IC2, so the only thing I really started with it is to get uh, rubber. I wanted to get rubber started, and then also the plates. So let me show you the plates real quick. Uh, yeah, the patterns in the plates. Actually, those are applied energistics, really? Uh, the forge hammer and the iron plate. Let's just, I think that's just telling me that's the pattern. So forge, yeah, I see two, and then plate. Yeah, so I wanted to get those in there and get some of the basics, so if I ever wanted to go to IC2, the transition would be real simple. So that's been stockpiling rubber, now that I'm thinking about how much rubber do we even have. Uh, half a mil. Yeah, half a million rubber, so that works out nicely for me. Uh, we also, I also got something else from, it's, it, ITA is really how he's been signing all this stuff. He gave me a bunch of Batania, some food, some uncommon treasure, and he gave me two boxes of this stuff. And then Living Rock as well, so that's been, that's been a nice little thing. So if I ever want to get into Batania, this is a lot of the intro stuff. The Hydrangeas? Angies? I don't know. Um, I'm sure it's something that is used to, but this was a but this was a really nice gift as well. Uh, Mana steel, and then some of these baubles. I have no idea how to work with those, but that's still a nice thing to have, and I appreciate it. 
Uh, let's see. Aside from that, that's been the first processing floor. Oh, the friends. That's right. I actually brought them up here because I wanted to move around my facility. And uh, what she left was eight of these snow golems. So I said friend storage facilities. I put them up here. Uh, I think they're still all eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Looks like seven here. Unless one of them is glitched. So aside from that, that's been what I've received. That's what I've done. That's with the new players on the server. Not really much else has changed here on my base, and I don't believe Sanctuary's had any real upgrades since the last time I did a video. So, until next time guys, thanks a lot for joining me, I really appreciate it. I'm going to do a little more cleaning up in my base here, and I'm going to catch you guys next time.